In this video, I'd like to show you how I gradually change my diet from unhealthy diet to vegan. Becoming vegan can feel like a big leap. Know that it will take a, big, a bit of uh, discipline and willingness and a desire on your part to implement change, especially a long-lasting one. For some people, this may take a longer period of time than the other, depends on uh, if you have any strong habits or addictions to any certain type of food or drinks. Before we can make any change, uh, we must first set expectation and the goals. Expect that your eating habits can fluctuate. Expect that change is a process. It requires time and adjustment um, for your body to adjust to these new habits. Um, focus on steady, small, steady progress at the pace that works for you. Make a little adjustment and hold the line and see how you feel uh, with the overall current diet as you're stepping up the cleaning process for your diet. Also be aware of any habits or stress or life situations or lifestyle that can affect your diet. Do you tend to eat more or reach for certain type of foods or drinks when you feel unhappy? How do you feel about yourself and your life? In general, are you happy? Do you eat more when you're happy? Or when you are at the party, is do you always have party? When, when starting out, you can change just one meal and then add more meal or uh, you can change one thing and uh, uh, eliminate uh, more things as you go. Observe how your body reacted to each change. So to begin the process, you can begin by bringing awareness to your current eating patterns, uh, what you currently eat every day, what's on your plate. Do you know what you eat currently that causes you to gain the most weight? Do you know how often you need to eat? Now, after you become more aware of your e eating habits, is to bring more consistency. Try having meals at the same time of the day. Uh, implement the cutoff point so that you can stop eating everything after certain time of day. For example, um, after dinner, um, 6 or 7 uh, p.m., um, you should at least allow four hours to digest uh, the meal. Um, you don't want to just eat and then go to bed. Uh, it's unhealthy for you. And now, the step for uh, limiting and eliminating the cleanup phase. So uh, you can start by limiting uh, what you consume a lot every day. Bring balance to it. You can avoid certain foods that increase your illness. Say you have problem with your kidneys. A uh, certain type of vegetable like spinach or food that has uh, diuretic effects should be avoided. If you have diabetics, then uh, try to not try to avoid eating food that uh, will turn into sugar so fast in your blood stream. Um, next is trying to eliminate food that you cannot digest well. 
uh, even though it may seem like a very healthy food. For example, wheat. Um, if you are gluten intolerant, um, then you should avoid avoid wheat or uh, food that contain gluten. Um, next is to limit or eliminate junk foods, highly processed food. Um, for example, uh, potato chips, um, uh, chocolate bar, for example. Uh, limit high fat food uh, is the next in order. It's uh, deep fried food, uh, uh, big plates of noodles, for example, uh, with oily, um, too much oily uh, food. Uh, eliminate sugary drinks and foods and sweets, candies, pastries, cookies, milkshake, for example. Some of the pastry uh, can contain a lot of sugar um, as well as cakes. Limiting the amount of meat that you consume in a day. You can replace some portion with proteins from plant. Limiting the amount of condiment, uh, sugar, added sugar, salt, and chili peppers, um, for example. So this should give you uh, some basic steps to start with. I hope you find this uh, video useful and I hope you like the video and uh, that's it. That's all I have for today. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, see you next time. Much love and blessing to you. Bye now.